dork, 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 dork. I'm a big dork. It's here, the final episode of the Colorado Trail. Yeah! And I just want to thank you all so much for following this journey. It was certainly one of the most impactful experiences of my life, and I've loved sharing it with you. Now I'm bopping in here quickly to ask you to consider supporting my channel on Patreon. I love Patreon because it allows me the freedom to continue creating videos for you to enjoy. This is my job, this is what I do. I'm a proud YouTuber. And without your help, all this video making would be a lot harder. And you'll notice that I don't do any branded content deals. And that's because I don't wanna turn my channel into a giant commercial. When you take a deal like that, and I get offered a ton, you can't really be honest with the audience. You have to say nice things about whatever product that's paying you money. And I don't wanna do that. You will notice, however, that I sometimes talk about small brands and products that I personally use. And I do this because I want to support a small business and expose you to something useful. They don't pay me money. I'm just hooking them up. Now, Priority Bikes certainly helps me on various adventures, and I'm very grateful for their support. Truth is, I love their bikes. They even let me design one, the very bike that I rode on the Colorado Trail. Okay, back to Patreon. If you join, and you don't have to, you get early access to my videos, and videos with zero ads. How nice is that? Another fun perk I love providing is sending out birthday videos. Ole, 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 ole. Happy birthday, my friend Milo. Or if you're about to do a race, I'll send you a pump up video to watch at mile 80 of an ultra marathon. What's up, Mike? I know you're deep in the pain cave, but you got this. I also do private live chats with my patrons, and I'm sure that I'll dream up some more fun things to do in the future. Now, if this sounds like something you wanna do, my Patreon link is down below in the description. And if you don't like the idea of paying monthly, you can now pay it all in one lump sum that will cover you for 12 months. Again, no pressure. I know that everyone is in a different financial position. My videos will always be available on YouTube for everyone. Okay, it's time for the exciting finale. Thanks again for watching my videos and make sure to stay until the end for the super awesome montage that took me forever to make. <laughs> oh, and after you watch this, don't forget to get out there. It rained all last night, and I'm glad it's not raining anymore. Gotta look smooth for my final day. Here comes the sun. Do, do, do. I'm so glad to see you, son. and my final bean burrito of the trip. Mmm, thank you, beautiful piece of ground. This was my favorite camp spot of the entire trip. All right, I had a little bit more pep in my step getting ready this morning, wrapping everything up quickly. Feels kind of like Christmas day, I'm excited. I am excited, oh man. Getting to Durango, getting to the finish line. No flatties, no crashies, no whammies. Let's have a great day. Time to have a great day. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Let's do this. The trail is super wet and muddy from all the rain last night. So it's a little slow going. But that's okay, it's beautiful, it smells great and fresh, and the flowers are all vibrant and happy, <sighs> like me.
Oh boy, I am motivated, I am tired and exhausted. I am pretty much all the emotions right now, but mostly motivated. I wanna get this done. But at the same time, enjoy my last 35 miles. This has been a big, big week in my life. A couple weeks almost. And uh, yeah, I wanna cherish it while I'm splashing through these puddles. Not gonna be an easy ride to Durango. We still got a lot of uphill before I go way downhill. So I think 11 days of hard charging has finally caught up to me to the point where I'm constantly walking. Like my legs just shoot out pain throughout my body. And I've been sleeping at 10,000 feet for the past 10 days and your body and your muscles just don't recover at that altitude. I woke up this morning all chipper thinking I was just gonna power through and man, this is a rude awakening. I am exhausted. Oh God. Every step I take is a lot of work. But every step I take is a step closer. So that's good news. On most bike adventures, it feels like I get stronger as time goes on. But this one, I feel like I get weaker and weaker. And the littlest things are tripping me up. Little rocks and roots and, you know, I'm stumbling around. You know, I haven't had alcohol in six years, but in a way I feel kind of drunk. <laughs> I'm just flopping around on these trails. I have not been this exhausted. Full body exhausted in a long time. Look at that. So I just passed a sign back there that says Kennebec Pass is five miles away. So five miles of tough uphill. Oh, that's a lot longer than I was hoping it would be. This one's taking everything I have. And I'm giving it everything I have. Okay, Ryan, come on, try to pedal. Oh, that hurts so bad. The view is pretty incredible. Oh, I am high. And that's where I'm headed, way over there. Seems so far away. Oh, these mountains here are really cool looking. These are the La Plata Mountains. Oh crap, I'm not even close. See that squiggly line up there to the top? Oh, I keep on going up and down, up and down, thinking I'm getting closer, but it's still a long way away. But damn, it is beautiful up here. This is pretty cool. There's a whole herd of elk down there and you can hear them bugling squeaking as they go up that hill. They're whining as they go up that hill like me. <laughs> Damn, it was a big hill. Speaking of the big hill, let's do it. Come on, buddy.
Whew. My legs burn so bad. And my arms, everything burns. A lot of switchbacks here. Real steep switchbacks. I couldn't ride this on my best day on a 20 pound mountain bike. <sighs> why do I do this to myself? <sighs> oh, I know, that's why. Okay, one last push. We got this. Up right there. I think I can, I think I can. I am the little engine right now. Oh boy, this is tough. Oh. Come on, buddy. Oh. I'm sorry for all the grunting noises, but there's no other way to do this. Oh man, it's taking every bit of me. Let's do this, come on. Okay, the good news is I made it to the top of that hill. The bad news is that is the actual summit way over there. Oh no. <laughs> Keep trucking, buddy, keep trucking, you got this! Again, though, the beauty is off the charts. We're getting there, we're getting there. Where is the top of this mountain? It keeps going. Okay. Get up there. You got this, come on. I did it, I did it. God, it feels good! Oh, the Colorado Trail has all these triumphs throughout the day, ups and downs and ups and downs. This is a, this is a, this is a good feeling right here. Lot of the way down to Durango is downhill of about 26 more miles. A marathon left of the Colorado Trail. And I'm gonna enjoy it, take it all in. Man, what an experience. Look at all the flowers. Did I say no crashies, no flatties, no whammies? If not, now would be a very good time.
through the jungle, the mighty jungle. The lion sleeps tonight. Oh, oh. Got some uh, switchbacks to contend with. It's not all downhill. Not all downhill. Oh boy. I was kind of hoping it was going to be all downhill from the pass. And I kind of knew it wasn't, but this is some real uphill. Not just a, like a little bump. This is a mountain. And it's hot down here in the lower altitudes. <clears throat> so at this point in the adventure, it is 99% mental, 1% physical. My body is completely toast. And it's just my mind keeping me in the game. Just one step forward, one pedal stroke forward. I'm earning this one. I'm gonna eat 10 burritos tonight for dinner, maybe a couple milkshakes and pizza and maybe some more burritos. I know that I'm fairly close to the finish line, but I just can't relax until I get there. This trail is relentless. Relentless, I've never done a trail like this before in my life. Okay, I think I've done, I think, most of the rest of the uphill. Now it is down time. Down, 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 down to Durango. <laughs> I'm so excited. There we go, come on baby, downhill all the way. I did it. Yeah! I freaking did it. Oh, it feels so good. And I don't really have a whole lot to say that I haven't said this whole week. I feel kind of numb. <laughs> but I, I'm very thankful that I got here in one piece and uh, grateful for, you know, the experience, even as hard as it was. This is going to be with me for a long time. I'm going to be thinking about the Colorado Trail for the rest of my life and the lessons learned and, uh, you know, I always feel like these types of adventures make me a better person, more compassionate, more tender-hearted, more loving, uh, more in tune with nature, more in tune with my body, more in tune with other people. I really loved meeting all the other hikers and bikers on the trail. That was definitely one of the highlights, absolutely, 100%. The flowers, the flowers were so amazing, I loved them. I probably could have gone three days faster if I didn't stop and look at all the flowers. Now that's that's a joke. I don't think I could have gone any faster. I did it in 11 days. That's not bad, right? And I'm really proud of myself. I mean, it's been a long time since I've had to push this hard to accomplish something. And it feels really good. It feels really good that I did it. And uh, it helps build confidence going forward in life, knowing that I can I can do these really hard things. I can do it. And I'd just like to say thanks to Priority Bicycles for designing such an awesome bike, the 600X. The Ren Fork was amazing. The Pinion, the Gates Belt Drive. You know, I beat the crap out of that bike. And I beat the crap out of myself. And uh, we're both here standing strong, <laughs> ready for another adventure, but maybe that one's gonna have to wait. I'm uh, not in the mood to get on that, that bike anytime soon. <laughs> oh, I feel good. Woo! I did it! Oh, boy. I need to call my mom now. Let her know that I'm safe. That's what I do. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. For watching all my videos, for sticking with me, for supporting me, for being part of Team Doozer. Um, I love the ability to do this. 
you know. <sighs> it's a dream job. It really is. And I couldn't do it without you. Sorry if I'm getting emotional, but these uh these adventures always crack me open. And I feel very cracked emotionally and physically and every other way. But uh thank you all so much. It means the world to me that you enjoy my videos. And uh stay tuned for more. And uh yeah, that's all I gotta say. You can tell that I need to take a nap. <laughs> Woo! The Colorado Trail. I can't thank you enough for riding me. All right, there it is, the official start. Bye, Mom, I love you. No crashies, no flatties, no whammies. Little boy in a hurry to find oh, this morning feels answers. amazing. This is the whole thing, right? In the middle of the <laughs> sure. Don't you give me life. Run, run, run and tell me all you see. Love me, I can feel the distance now. There is never a promise of tomorrow. What? If we made a decision just like a like to do.
the miles make the heart grow fond There's a thousand miles